It's your boy, Downsize, and I'm back once again on my block with another hood classic. <coughs> so this one right here is to answer a question by the homie Tiger uh, in the comments who asked, uh, does the Arizona Emmett get along with the, the Border Brothers here? Um, historically, historically in the prison system, we were cool until a point. We were cool until 1998 when at Simron, we decided to target them. Now, prior to then, there had been a couple incidents, you know, a couple little riots or whatever, you know, it had been building. And this is why um, I personally made the decision that I did at the time to hit the Border Brothers as we did. Okay, now those riots had already happened and there's people who are under the impression that that's when this war between us and them begins. It doesn't, it doesn't. There's time elapsed between each of those incidents and when everything else would transpire. Okay, now as I've explained on the other video about the animus between the Mexican nationals and the rest of us here, or Chicanos, whatever, um, it's historical and it's rooted and it's a deep, deep, deep rooted hatred. You know what I mean? Like the history of those words really come into play here. The dynamics of the way we are with one another, um, because it, it there, there's, there's ongoing wars that, that, uh, entail or ensued from it. Um, not so much because everything here, like I said, is cartel related and drug related. Um, it's not gang related. You know, we're on a whole other level here than that gang shit. Um, so, okay. This is, you know, when it, when, when it comes to in the prison system, a lot of us carried that with us. The, 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 the wars that we had on these streets, you know, there's the assumption that it stopped at the gates. I heard Chopper and I'm trying to act like, no, it didn't. No, it didn't. None of those conflicts that we had on the street stopped in there because of those dudes. That's not true. Dude, there's all kinds of incidents that happened in there that were gang related that, that, that carried over from the streets into there. They try to make themselves out to be something bigger and better than they ever were, but none of this is true. Okay, so, so that being said, okay, in the prison system, with them, it was cool, right? Like, for the most part with them, we kept our distance, right? Like, we didn't, we were cool, right? It's just that with the Border Brothers, they started building up and started pumping up their nuts and it became different. So after those two incidents, I realized that they're just going to continue to spread. So then I end up getting, I end up getting a Sally, the lonely one who was a lieutenant in the Border Brothers. And then there was another one, Weddle, in the next pod, right? This is in Simron Unit 98. And so, and so, um, we hit three of them in, 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 in in a morning, basically, one day. You know what I mean? Um, starting with my Sally. Thought he was dead. And anyway, um, so we hit like four of them in two days. They're in Simron alone. They retaliated by hitting <clears throat> Little Spider and Simron. They stabbed Little Spider and Simron. And then from there, there's, there was an incident that, you know, in, 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 uh, Yuma, you know, a bunch of back, then it became a tit for tat when it be, then it became a war, right? And then it was a, it was, it was on at that point. Um, now, mind you that I've been out for over 20 years out of the, out of the game for tw more than 20 years. And, um, when it comes to, when it comes to, uh, the way it was at that point, they were separated. You know what I mean? They were just beginning to separate um, everyone. Um, so, but we were still together at the time of when I got out. So, so, so then um, now, cause, because they back to integrated the system and now they're racially integrated and everything else. And it's totally different now. Um, so now I don't know what type of alliances they have. I don't know what goes on with none of that shit. 
you know, I only keep tabs on what I need to keep tabs on, you know what I mean, um, because if, 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 if something were to happen again, like they try to make moves before, then yeah, that's, it's, you know, there's, 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 a there's contingency plans for all that. So, so, you know, honestly, I don't know what their relationship is. I mean, you guys have to understand something. Like I keep saying, this is cartel city. We function on a totally different level. You guys are looking at, you guys have, you guys' own blinders, your own biases as to what gangs and how things function. You guys are looking at things the way you guys function in California and you try to compare and contrast that to everywhere else. Well, we don't get down like that. Like, like I said, we're on, this is, this is cartel city. This kidnap capital, cop involved, killing cap. This is the wild west. There's no gangs get you nowhere. Gangs get you a Rico case and, and gangs get you snitched on and set up. And yeah, that's, that's, people have a totally different mentality here. People's level of organization when it comes to things going on here is way different. You don't have that, bro. Like, listen, as far as people see it here, it's cowardice that you need all of that. You know what I mean? Like, it's just become a Hollywood movie script the way things go in other places. It's not like it's the old West. It's wild, wild West out here. You get it how you live for real. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, the Border Brothers, you know, you have to understand something. Like, the reach of those prison gangs, they don't... Whatever they can accumulate on their own out here on the streets, it's the same for everybody. It's not like over there where, you know, they still try to play this old romanticized role. Everyone there is playing a role. No one here plays roles, dude. Everyone here gets it how they live in real time, rough, rugged, and raw. And there's no... Your own homies get you. It's not, there's no, there's no, nothing sacred here, bro. It's not that place. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, the, the, you know, that, 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 those, those prison gangs don't have the standings that people think. You know what I mean? Like, it's prison. They, they get you in prison, but what, what, what happens on the streets? You, you, out here on these streets, they're, they're, they're weaker and more vulnerable than ever. So, there's no, you know what I mean? Like, they don't want to play that little tit for tat, go to war with no one on these streets, because, it's war, dude. They're outnumbered. They're outgunned. All of it. See, over there, over there in California, they got the Sureños. If it wasn't for the Sureños, the Emmy there is done. Let's be honest about it. If it's not for the Norteño, if it's not for, if it's not for those, for those subsets, those, those organizations, those, the main functioning of those organizations, the, the, it's weak. It collapses without them. Those dudes are nothing without them. See, out here, you stand on your own. You, you don't... You, your reputation isn't based on where you're from. It's based on who you are. It's different now here than everywhere else, bro. And that's what people need to understand. You know, like, this is a whole different world, bro. And like I tell you guys, man, like, I, you know, I don't mean no disrespect, whatever, but homies out here don't, they don't, they don't respect that shit. They'll kill you in a heartbeat. Motherfuckers out here killing and, and, and getting each other. You know what I mean? And, and like, that's why you got fools it, you know, Matter of fact, uh, 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 and I'm going to end with this because uh, the homie Tiger brought up a uh, lazy dub being a Sudanio. Well, he's not from Wedgwood if he's a Sudanio. That's a South Sider. Wedgwood's on the West Side. I don't know anyone, bro. I don't know any Wedgwooders that claim that, dog. Like, how are you going to be from, from the West Side and they claim to be from the South Side, be a South Sider? That's weak, dude. That's fucking weak, bro. Any of them homies over here that do that, that brand themselves like that, they fucking, they, they, they're so weak that they have to try to get in where they fit in. That's weak, dude. I said that shit, dude. That dude is weak. He ain't from Wedgwood, homie. He's a Sudanio. He needs to tap the fuck out with that shit now. Quit playing, dude. Yeah, man, you ain't, don't, don't, listen, you ain't bringing that shit over here thinking that, that that's just gonna roll out over here like that. Nah, homie, not even in Wedgwood, homie. I made that call. That shit don't play like that, homie. Stop with that shit. You're a Sudanio. Stay over there, homie. You're not welcome here. Peace and I'm out.